Good morning. So you want to get shredded without losing your mind? I absolutely lost my mind in my last dieting phase. The last two weeks were horrible, but I'm back. Got my man, mind back and this morning run was absolutely amazing. Oh, felt so good. Crazy runners high, crazy energy. <laughs> Woo! We did the classic 8.2 kilometers, 506 pace, 42 minutes, heart rate. 146 nice and warm out great start to the day but what can i do to not lose my mind first thing that i probably could have done better that works very well at the beginning for me doing a lot of sports physical activity which is not bad which is super good which you should do as well first like six weeks i almost did double sessions every day with some exceptions obviously yeah uh, on leg day sometimes i didn't go for a run or whatever but I went out to do cardio and also hit the gym and I could have structured that better to be more sustainable but the thing is look I love doing sports I love getting a pump and going to the gym so that's just like brushing my teeth in the evening before bed it's not something I'm gonna leave out and then I just incorporate cardio because I'm training for a marathon and stupid things <laughs> and I want to get faster so I just also enjoy running because the endorphins are crazy and I'm just addicted to sports. If you're just starting out on your cutting journey, what can you do? You can obviously uh, structure it in a more, I don't know, sustainable way. Let's say Monday you go for leg day, not push day, not international chest day, go hit legs. So go hit uh, legs on Monday, Tuesday do a light cardio session, uh, Wednesday hit the gym, Thursday light cardio session, Friday, at the gym, Saturday, light cardio sessions. And you have three strength training sessions and three cardio sessions. Yeah, six trainings a week. I know it's a lot for an average person, but um, yeah, if you wanna get somewhere, you gotta put in the work. No, you can also structure it differently. You can also just do an upper body, lower body session. So two workouts in the gym and uh, you know, two or three cardio sessions, but research says you should do 150 minutes of cardio a week so just be sure to hit 150 minutes of cardio and then you should be fine but as i said it worked very well at the beginning because <clears throat> my carbs eh, my calories were rather high i ate like three to three and a half thousand calories and i still was cutting weight because i was burning more calories but then after like a month the body obviously gets used to it and says well, yeah, now we, we're eating 3000 calories, but I'm not gonna lose more weight. So you always have to constantly decrease the calories. And then once I was like at two and a half thousand calories doing two sessions a day, there were times where, where it was six, seven o'clock in the evening and I've only consumed like 800 calories for the whole day and already went out for my cardio session for a run and the gym let's say it wasn't the brightest idea and i could have done it better could have split out my food better my calories better for more energy throughout the day but let's get the day started let's get some coffee into this body get hyped up get some fuel in the system go baby we're sipping on the pre-workout caffeine is flowing through the blood blood but we need some more pre-workout in this body get a nasty chest session going baby yeah. but let's talk about staying sane and not losing your mind while getting shredded while going down the route of getting lean don't go too hard on your deficit uh, on the calorie deficit i just started out because yeah i was a bit lean when i started out um but i still went like from a maintenance level straight into a four or five hundred calorie deficit you can do it slower or i'd even recommend doing it slower because you just let your body adapt to eating less food. For me at least, the best thing was to skip breakfast and not eat eat anything in the morning, just survive off of coffee, caffeine because it suppresses appetite and boosts metabolism. But it's maybe not the best uh, approach for you. Maybe you need some fuel in the body just to get fired up to survive the morning or whatever take it slow it's a marathon it's not a sprint a lot of people underestimate this and uh, yeah it's just a misconception uh, 
that you know you can get your summer body in three weeks if you give yourself more time it's already great because you're not going to starve yourself you're not going to feel as miserable uh, because it's like the new normal state and your mind doesn't go absolutely crazy with craving foods because if you just hit a deficit of a thousand calories uh, straight from zero zero to hundred real quick starve yourself to death then it's not going to be sustainable a B, you're going to relapse, you're going to binge on food afterwards anyways, you're not going to see any change either way. So two weeks of uh, 1000 calorie deficit, it's going to do jack shit. <laughs> so don't do that. Give your body time, time to adapt. You don't want to end up eating 1600, 1600 calories after two weeks of shredding because you just decreased it every day and you think that's the solution to getting shredded. It's not. It takes time, it takes weeks. Unfortunately, that's the price you gotta pay if you wanna get shredded, if you wanna get some leanness and aestheticness in the body. <laughs> yeah, man. And also something that I would highly recommend, I know it sounds stupid, but try to just do the same thing every day. Eat the same food every day. You don't have to think about it. Just plan it out, plan out your calories, eat the same stuff every morning, lunch, dinner, get the same calories in you only have to plan it out once and then you can just easily adapt well with cutting out maybe you know specific carb source or some calories here and there a snack here and there um, but it just makes it easier you don't have to think about your meals you don't have to plan anything you just have to work like a machine <laughs> and cook your food every day same thing but these boring repetitive things get you the best results because it just makes the day efficient, it makes cooking efficient, it makes you hitting your protein goal, your carb goal, and your calorie deficit at the end of the day easier. Don't let those cravings in the grocery store when you're hungry, when you have an empty stomach, um, lead you to binge eat and buy stupid things. Because when you buy crap, you're gonna eat it at 9, 10 o'clock in the evening when those cravings hit the most. So don't do it but it is now time to go pump up. Let's go, let's hit the gym. Pre-workout is kicking in, caffeine is kicking in, everything is kicking in, face is starting to itch. So let's get going and I'll catch you in the gym. Let's pump up this chest, baby. This one is gonna go down in the history books. Let's go. chest session boy it was one for the history books that pump strength ha it almost made me lose my mind looking in the mirror <laughs> but you know what also made me lose my mind one and a half or two weeks ago was food cravings and boy oh boy when you're dieting and oh worst thing is on instagram on these social media platforms the algorithm just decided, yeah, I know you're dieting. Let me just show you recipes of insane snacks and food, peanut butter and cookies and just all kinds of bullshit. So the algorithm was playing with my mind. I'm also an idiot and I always watched the shorts. <laughs> so my mind or basically the algorithm was learning and thought like, oh, this guy likes looking at stuff that you know, makes him crave more food. So let's just show him more. But uh, towards the end, I'm telling you, made me lose my mind. So that's why it's important to also have something sweet in your uh, in your diet once in a while. I always had my skier bowl, which was my treat after cardio, which is insane. I mean, with all the fruit, it's just like a nice treat. My tip for you, stay off the social media platforms. If you see a recipe, quickly keep swiping and uh, just ignore that stuff because the algorithm is gonna feed you more of that crap <laughs> other than that as a quick recap uh the 
diet was actually good. In two months, I lost about four and a half kilograms. We are filling up, the body is soaking up all these calories, these extra calories. Obviously, I'm still doing a lot of cardio. I'm able to go out again. I'm enjoying it so hard being able to run and uh, feel good again and not just drag myself through the runs. We were at a low 69.1 kgs. That was our low one and a half weeks ago or a week ago. We're back at 72, 72 kilograms. So we gained three kilograms back. The shreds are still the same. So I'm still striated and shredded. So just the muscles filling out again and uh, soaking up all the carbs. Next year, like February, we're gonna start cutting again for the marathon. But there's no going around being fluffy again, so it's time to say goodbye to the veins and the shreds. More or less, let's see how these cardio sessions are gonna help me maintain this uh, body fat. I hope for the next cut, I can focus up and lock it in a bit more and conquer my mind better than this time you just get new perspectives on how you cope in different situ situations so it's great overall we're happy and we're gonna get this going if you enjoyed if you were inspired and motivated to get after it like the video it helps a lot man and thank you for tuning in love you i'll catch you in the next one let's go baby let's crush these goals Woo!